Good morning, Horseman. Today is Friday, November 15th, and it's National Clean Out Your Refrigerator Day. The theme for November is I Can Do Hard Things. This is your Horseman News Crew, and I'm Annabelle. And I'm Karis. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Leading the pledge today are Fisher and William. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, and with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> if you are buying hot lunch today, there will be taco turkey, lettuce, shredded cheddar cheese, with hot or fresh veggies and canned or fresh fruit, and milk on your tray. There are no, there are no vegetarian salads this week, but they will be back on Monday. Today we wish a very happy horseman birthday to Nora Kovac and Mrs. Schreiner's class. And tomorrow is fourth grader Jack Berner's birthday. On Sunday, preschooler Hajar Ada and, and Markavius McMiller will celebrate their birthdays. Please go, please go to the office for your bookmark or pencil. Did you know that our horse that our school is collecting food to give to Lakewood families so they can have a yummy Thanksgiving dinner. We really need your help. In the, in the next week, please bring in canned or boxed food and put them in the box near the office. Here are some suggestions of what to bring in. Peanut butter, soup, spaghetti noodles, cereal, tuna fish, canned vegetables, canned fruits, or boxes of macaroni and cheese. You will be helping us reach our goal of feeding 600 families, 600 Lakewood families. Thank you. And now here's Hazel with weather and sports. Wintry weather has definitely showed up here in Lakewood, but it will warm up above freezing this weekend and will be partly sunny, so the snow that fell earlier this week will melt. Look for highs in the 40s each day and lows in the in lows at night in the 30s. In sports, the Browns played the Pittsburgh Steelers last night on Thursday night football and won 21 to 7. They have not won since 20, 2014. Overshadowing their victory was a horrible fight. Miles Garrett ripped Mason Rudolph's helmet off and hit him on the head with it. And the Cavs have a record of four wins and seven losses, but the, excite, but the exciting sports news of the week is the Horace Mann students who won, fourth, who won first place in the Madison Soccer Tournament. Here to tell us more about their win are Fisher and William. Hi, boys. Hi, William. So Fisher couldn't make it today, so can you answer these few questions about your tournament? Yes. Okay. Who did you face to win the trophy in the Madison tournament? Jacksonville. Tell us about the last game of the tournament. We won 5-4. Um, to four. We went into pre-kicks, and they the last pre-kick they shot, and it went over the crossbar. So then um, they... So then... That gave us the last point, and then we won. So then we got the trophies, and then we went home. Nice. Is this the first time you have your team has won the tournament? Um. Yes. So we had a tournament, a different one, in the Corn Fest tournament. We won second place against um Avon. And that we got second place medals, but this time we got trophies. And how did everyone celebrate? We went up in a huddle and started jumping and celebrating. Well, that's really interesting. Thank you for sharing. Thanks, William. We are sorry that Fisher could not make it. For now, that's all I have to say, so make it an awesome Horseman Day. Today's newscast has been brought to you by Evie, Hazel, James, Karis, and Annabelle. Have a fantastic Friday, and remember the five B's of Horace Mann. Be safe, be respectful, be responsible, be kind, and be the best you can be. The choice is yours. The news is in, and we're, we're out. out. And, and don't, don't forget, forget to clean out your refrigerator. refrigerator.